Hey you jitters and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be dressing like different American Girl historical characters but in my own modern style kind of. So I didn't buy anything new for this video, I just took from what I had in my closet or took something from my mom or my sister's closet. So some of these outfits are better than others. So I tried my best and I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. So starting off with Molly, she's a doll from the World War II era and a lot of her collection has a lot of blues and reds in it so I knew I wanted to do her meat outfit. So I'm wearing this blue sweater with a white Peter Pan collar underneath and also a checkered skirt. And then I also made sure to wear some tall white socks. For all these outfits, I am wearing the same shoes just because I felt too lazy to change them out. So all of these outfits, I am wearing these black vans. I also made sure to put my hair in braids because Molly's hair is in braids. I think it would have been even better if I had like red ribbons at the end of it because that's what's in Molly's hair. And then I also made sure to add the pop of red in there with the red bag. So yeah, this is Molly's outfit. I would rate this on a scale of 1 to 10 at about an 8. And yeah, I think this is one of the better outfits. So it's only gonna go downhill from here. <laughs> okay, next up, I want you to guess what outfit this is. Yeah, I probably didn't guess it because it's not that good. This is supposed to be Emily. If you guessed that, well, good job. So this is Molly's best friend character, character who moved from England to the US because of the war. And so she wears this blue dress. So I have this bluish greenish kind of dress with some flowers on it. I thought it kind of matched. This is the best I could do. She also wears like a little white cardigan, so I have this white shirt on top. And then I also wanted to make sure to add in the red accents, similar to Molly, so I have the same red bag. And yeah, this is Emily's outfit. <laughs> on a scale of one to 10, I would probably rate this about a four. I like the outfit. Does it look like Emily's? I don't really think so. So actually this one might be even worse than the last one. This is supposed to be Josefina. <laughs> Mainly, I did this because I have this white shirt that kind of looks like hers, but I had no red skirt that looks like her dress, so I had to go with these brown pants. It kind of reminds me of her shawl, so we're just gonna go with that. And yeah, I think it's an okay outfit. Again, does it look like Josefina? Hmm. <laughs> so on a scale of 1 to 10, I would probably rate this a 3, <laughs> because it's e probably even worse than the last one. Okay, on to the next one. I think this one is a little bit better just because you might have seen me wear these pants before in another video where I matched my doll because these are exactly like Junie's pants. They're not flared, they are skinny, but I think that helps with like modern kind of style. I wore the same shirt that I wore with Josefina because Julie has this white thing on top and she also wears a striped turtleneck underneath, so I have that too. I'm not sure if it really looks right together, but I tried. <laughs> So Julie's a doll from the 70s. I think this outfit would have been better if I added some more accessories and stuff in it. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate this about a 6 or maybe a 7, maybe a 6.5. <laughs> anyway, yes, that's it for Julie. <laughs> and now for her best friend, Ivy. I like this outfit a lot better. I feel like you can guess that it's Ivy just because of the colors. Ivy does wear kind of like a silky turtleneck top, but I have nothing like that because that's very specific. I don't know who has that. So I just went for this red top instead. And luckily my sister had some green corduroy pants, which worked perfect for Ivy. And then I also have this blue bag because Ivy has that little denim bag. I'm not sure it matched with the outfit, but I think it made it look a little bit more like Ivy. I know a lot of people think that Ivy should have been the main character instead of Julie, so let me know what you think about that. I personally really like Julie still, but I think it would have been nice if Ivy was like a full character with a little bit more to her collection. And on a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate this probably at an 8, just because I do think it's a little bit more accurate. Maybe you can see that it's Ivy if you're familiar with her outfit. So yeah, that is Ivy's outfit. And 
next we have Kit's outfit. So she's a little reporter, so I thought I would hold a notebook to look scholarly. Not scholarly, journalisty? <laughs> Journalistic? I don't know the word. I'm wearing this pink top with a vest on top because I feel like that's something Kit would wear, you know? And then I'm wearing some white pants with this. Alternatively, if I had a skirt, I feel like that might have been a little bit more accurate, but it is really hard to find clothes that go with these dolls' outfits, so I really tried my best here. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate this like a 7.7. .7. I'm not sure why, it just, it just feels like it. Could have been a little bit better, is definitely not the worst outfit that I have here. So that is Kit. And the next outfit I have absolutely tanked. I bet you probably wouldn't even be able to guess who it is if I didn't say who it was. But this is supposed to be Ruthie, question mark? I have a black turtleneck on with some purple shorts. And that is about all that makes this Ruthie is the purple. <laughs> I think the print maybe kind of looks like her dress if you squint. Anyway, let's move past this one. I'm rating this one a 2 out of 10. Next up we have Samantha. I have this button up red dress and I feel like it kind of looks like Samantha, kind of like Christmas outfit y, I I guess. Like I said, if you squint, maybe you can see it. I also did have a bow in my hair because I thought that would make it more Samantha, but I'm not sure if you can even really see it on camera, but the thought was there. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate this about a 4 or a 5 just because it's literally just a dress. And yeah, that's it for Samantha. And last up, we have her best friend, Nelly. So this outfit was really just based on the blue color. I feel like Nelly looks a little bit more fancy than Samantha when Samantha was the fancier one. So we're just going to look past that. So I have this blue striped top with a blue shirt underneath and then this grayish skirt that kind of goes with it. It's very flowy. It's fun to wear. Yeah, I feel like these outfits progressively got worse over time, but I I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried my best to dress like the historical characters. Let me know which outfit was your favorite one, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!